Oh, no, it sounds like it's recording. Uh, anyway, you, you can fix that thing, but you just can't fix it today, innit? We're gonna have to roll with this one. <laughs> just roll with it. <laughs> See, roll with it. There. I think that's alright now. It's recording still. Alright, uh, Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, we want to give our all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Bah Hashem, Raka Kodash. And I would like to give our double honors unto the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone. And uh, much blessing to you, brothers, out there laboring in truth and sincerity. Uh, the first place I want to get is uh, Revelation uh, 16 and 15, Bob Kasha. Alright, uh, pretty much uh, we're coming up. Uh, to the uh to event a, uh, a dangerous time now man okay the times are a time which has been spoken about in the scriptures by the prophets okay yahweh shai yahweh yahweh shai warned us about the matter of fact they are matthews 24 and 35 question okay yahweh shai spoke about these times that are coming man okay the, uh, the times of trouble that are coming man okay and uh right now our minds are supposed to be geared towards uh saving the heavenly father man because uh at this very time or with the times that are coming man it's not going to be ourselves we, we're not going to be able to save ourselves man okay if we live through those times and if uh if we survive and get delivered at the end it's not because of the things that we've done but rather the fact that heavenly father has had mercy on us man okay so we are so we are we're doing everything possible because Apostle Gaba said himself, I don't know if you watched that video, man. Said that he's doing it. He's doing it. Uh, he's looking up for number one first of all, man. Uh -huh. He's he's doing what he does so that the Lord Himself, so the Lord can have mercy on him first, man. Okay. So that even us, as we are, we taking up that attitude, man. We we working. We are doing what we are doing. Matter of fact, get a. Uh, like man. I go you. I go you all over the place. Uh, revelations are. Uh, Revelations are three and ten, Baba Kasha. So All right, three and ten. So even we ourselves, man, we're doing things in in order in order to be found worthy to be delivered in the times that are coming, man. Okay, because you know we we understand now the things that are coming and uh and the the times of trouble that are gonna uh, are, are just round the corner. So we know we 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 we're doing everything possible in the hopes that the Lord as well keep us in those times, man. But with that, Papa Kasha. Yeah, this is Re Revelation chapter three verse ten it says, "Because thou hast kept my word of my patience, I also will keep thee free from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth." Yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, I will keep thee, not three. If you can't, I kept thee. Kept the. Uh, I'll read it again. Read it again. Yeah, because thou hast kept the word, kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee free from the hour of temptation. I will keep thee, thee. Yeah, I said, I said it. I said, oh, I said, I said, I said three. So like <laughs> the way I pronounce it, it's my pronunciation. Oh, so like it, so like I read it again anyway. Yeah, yeah because on. thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee yeah. from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all. The world to try them that dwell upon the face of the earth. Can man, and uh, the the word the word world there man is uh it's not just talking about Israel man, it's talking about the entire planet Earth man. Okay, because uh this system is uh is uh, is created is 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 uh is joined one way or another. All these uh all these nations, all their banking systems are joined together one way or another. That's why when one country has a has a, a, an economic cli uh, crisis. Or banking failure, the whole planet uh, begins to suffer, man. Okay, so when when shit starts to hit the fan, everybody on the planet Earth is gonna get affected, man. Okay, um, get a uh, Matthew twenty four and the true Babukasha. Okay, so now we we know that we're in these times, man. Okay, because the Lord uh, He gave us signs to look out for, in order for us to understand at what times uh, uh, at what times, uh, which times those things are gonna be uh, when all these things are gonna come to pass, man. Uh, 24 and 35 32 questions from 32 24 32 yeah yeah maybe 24 verse 32 says now learn a parable of the fig tree when his branches is yet tender and put it forth leaves ye know that the summer is near yeah because uh 
uh, like uh, like at my house I've got I've got a tree that uh, when now uh, when the spring comes it uh it produces these little white leaves okay the whole tree like you don't get those ones in winter you only get them when summer is here man it produces these little white uh, flowers on it and uh they, you know they're all over the floor they make a mess so those are usually the signs the signs of summer man uh, continue on 33 so likewise 33 so likewise ye when you shall see all these things know that the end is near even at the doors yeah man so now because the lord if, if you read up up, right up, up above uh, matthew 24 man the lord gives you all gives us all the signs to look out for men when the end is gonna come man okay uh read verse 34 verily 34 says verily i say unto you this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled i continue on heaven and the earth shall pass away but my word shall not pass away yeah man so you know this is like we we now in that time now we're in that generation which the lord said it shall, it shall not pass away but until all these things come to pass man so we know we're in that time we know we're in that time where all these things are going to come to pass man all this trouble is going to come to pass we shall lead up to the coming of our of the heaven of, of yahweh shai man okay now get our revelation 16 and 15 book kasha okay so now you know because the lord gave us instructions on things that we're supposed to do uh before his coming man okay and which is to go out and teach this word okay to watch out for the prophecies and go out and teach this word man okay on netflix there's something called uh uh preppers okay these idomites what they do is uh they put things together so that when trouble hits they're prepared for it man okay but that's pride man you trust in it, you trust in, in your own self to be able to protect yourself when all, all hell breaks loose Okay, when the Heavenly Father makes it clear that He's the He's the one that's gonna save men. Okay. Mm, so like, uh, yeah, yeah. On that point, they um about the preppers. They call them doomsday, doomsday preppers. Yeah, doomsday preppers. And yeah, yeah. It's a it's becoming a big business now. The shops like businesses set up doomsday where you can go. You can get all your you know the, the canned food. What they what they say they might need when they're in the uh, the underground bunkers. Yeah. So everything's prepared for them, and this and a lot of um. Um, this business is a booming business at the moment. This um, doomsday prepping because they know Esau in his spirit, he knows something is about to um, come. But that's pride, though, man. You're trusting, you're trusting, you're trusting in your own self that you might be able to save yourself, man. But all that prepping that you're doing, man, you're really doing it for somebody else, man. Somebody else is gonna eat this, that food, not yourself. They show you that in that movie. Have you seen that movie, The Road? I haven't seen it. Yeah. Oh man, that's a bad movie. The Road, why he done? He found he found an underground bunker. And then when he opened it, he went in, he found somebody else but, but prepared me. There was like bottles of wine, uh, food, and uh, he was able to take a bath and shave. And every, everything was prepared in there, man. It was put in there. All kinds of food was in there. But the person that put all that together, man, was nowhere to be found. Probably dead somewhere still, man. <laughs> you know? Wow. Go ahead, read that. Yeah, Revelation chapter 16, verse 15. Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that walketh and keepeth his commandments least the least garment blessed is he that walketh and keepeth his garments luckier least he walk naked and they see his shame yeah man uh it's read, read from the top again uh, 15 uh, revelation chapter 16 verse 15 says behold i come as a thief yeah bless so like yeah a thief a thief does not give you an appointment for when he's gonna come and break into your house man okay so the Lord, He said, He does not. He will not give. You, he is gonna come as a thief. Okay, a thief is not gonna tell you, okay, I'm gonna break in at uh, two o'clock, at uh, two a.m. at night on on a Thursday. All right, a, a thief uh, comes comes to your house when you're not aware, so he can steal your goods, and that's how the Lord is gonna come. And go ahead. Blessed is he that walketh and keepeth his garments. Yeah, and the garment is this truth, man. Okay, uh, go ahead. Least he walk naked and they see his shame. A lot of guys are losing this truth, man, and we're seeing the shame today, man. All right, I get uh, Luke 21 and 36, Babu Kasha. Luke uh, 21 and 36. Yeah, Luke chapter 21, verses 36 says, Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be counted worthy to escape all these things that shall part, come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. 
yeah man so that's that's a clear instruction man watch and pray always man okay so every time every day because when all when all hell breaks loose man it's it's it's, it's gonna cut a lot of people man scripture say uh men's hearts failing them for the things that come on the earth man it's gonna be a surprise man it's gonna be unexpected okay so a lot, that's why the scripture say i've made the uh Habak, the second chapter i've made you a watchman onto, i've made you a watchman okay so we are watchmen so all this time so what we our job is to watch all the time and give the people warning all right and the scripture say watch and pray always man okay with that again Bob Kasha. yeah luke chapter 21 first verses 36 says watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be counted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the son of man yeah because uh when the time comes man we're gonna be aware of we're gonna be we're gonna know when the time comes man we were ready in the spirit man because we've been looking for it man okay we've been watching uh we've been prophesying about it and then when the time comes man we know we're gonna be ready man uh get uh get uh first thessalonians 5. okay because we're gonna be we're gonna be ready man Every, the rest of the people they are sleeping man okay even if even if uh even if it if the type of uh, danger is being told to them on the news man they're, they're still gonna believe tomorrow it's gonna be everything gonna be all right all right but and uh, you know they you know they're at ease scripture says that rise up ye that at ease in zion man okay. uh five and one so seven one one come on. uh till six yeah five and one right uh first thessalonians chapter five reading from one uh, but all the times of the seasons but of the but, but of the times and the seasons br brethren ye have need no need that I write unto you why because you've been watching all right all go right. ahead for you yourself know perfectly that the day of the Lord is cometh as a thief in the night because mm -hmm. your house wonders okay go ahead and he gave he gave us signs to look out for all right for when they shall say peace and safety, then suddenly destruction cometh upon them, as as a travel as travel upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Yeah, like you see, when a woman is pregnant, when the baby is due, she'll be in the kitchen making herself some breakfast and everything. She 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 sort of knows that she, she's due any time, but then when those waters break, man, you know, it just it just happens suddenly, man. Okay, that's why that's how the, that trouble is gonna hit a lot of these people, man. Okay, just when they deal it, when they when everything is all good, okay, when they're going around, uh, pr they're planning their next holiday, planning what they're gonna do with their pay, <laughs> with their pay when they get paid, okay, planning what kind of club they're gonna go to and so on and so forth. But one day, just like the economic crisis, we just woke up in the morning in two thousand eight, we just woke up in the morning, and all of a sudden is you could not you could not access your money, man. All right, like remember 9/11. The apostle Apostle Gaba always speaks about how things changed after 9/11, man. Okay, everything was people were just planning their next day as normal, but when when all that happened, man, they, it's never been the same again, man. Okay, but this 9/11, you know, after 9/11, things sort of you know things changed, but things kind of went back to normal. Mm. But this time, this time period, man, when thing when things happen, it's not gonna go back to normal whatsoever, man. Mm, yeah. Scripture said, "Read that again." Said, "They shall not escape." Uh, which one? Uh, verse three. Verse three. For when they shall say peace and safety, then suddenly destruction cometh upon them as travel upon a woman with child. With child, and they shall not escape. Yes, yeah, sudden destruction shall come upon them. Just when you think everything is good, man. Okay, it's gonna be one thing right after the other, man. One thing after the other. One thing after the other. All right. Uh, Can I make a point about right. what you just said about yeah. um, the nine eleven? Where I remember Gabar said that. When that happened after the the sales of the bible went up increased like became the best-selling book yeah yeah and for, for, so it really tells you that and we develop most of these people that say they don't believe in god yeah it's only it's only in their mind is they're, they're, they're just in denial yeah yeah because yes yeah, so like because it seems as if the most the heavenly father has 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 now ceased to exist like it's now you know what let let the, let the, let let man do whatever the hell he wants to do. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Go ahead, select it. And so when uh, they believe in God, when something something like nine eleven happens, that's when they they really you know you can see that they do believe in God because the, as the Bible's increased, it became the best selling book. Yeah. So um, and and it happened suddenly. The day before it was normal. 
the day after when that happened, the 9 11 happened when all the tragedy broke out. All those people that say they didn't believe in God, the next day, they, you know, the majority be believed in God. So it tells you the mindset of, of the people. Yeah, yeah. I remember you appreciate real quick for what you just said. This is Isaiah 2 and 11. It says, The lofty looks of man shall be humbled, and the haughtiness of men shall be bowed down, and the Lord alone shall be exalted in that day, man. Okay, because a lot of people, you're going to know that it's the Heavenly Father that's doing the things that He's doing, man. That's because every time, like uh, when there was a flood, like as, as, as soon as the, I remember there was parts of UK that had a flood, and it was right after they, they put that, that, that gay marriage, uh, like, of, like, you know, homosexuals can get married. And right. this this prime minister, he, he you know he got you know he got taken down from his position. Was he that came, David Cameron you're talking about? No, no, well, David Cameron. David, he's, he's, he's a homo anyway himself. Uh, one of the guys in, in those uh, government positions anyway, he turned around and said, that, you know, these things are happening because we've, 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 we're we allowing gay people to get married, man. Right. But as usual, obviously, everybody went against him for 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 making such a statement. Mm. So like, yeah, and anyway, I go back to that. If, if, if unless you've got anything else to say to add. Uh, yeah, there, there was the, the time of the floods. I uh, remember, I think it was 2012. There was, there was a, around Christmas, just around Christmas or before Christmas, December, when it was it, it all broke out, tragedy broke out, and there was um there was a lot of there was increased pressure on um I think it was David Cameron at the time. Mm. So, yeah, it's a, it's a similar thing, isn't it? The, nobody believes in God until tragedy, until yeah, tragedy, yeah, something, yeah. something carnal, especially yeah. for the carnal people. So they have to see something carnal to believe that there's a God. Yeah. And that's why the scriptures say, uh, seek ye the Lord while he may be found, man. Okay, because if you, you know, if uh, Ecclesiastes, the, the, the 12th chapter, it says, uh, seek, seek ye the Lord before the evil days come. All right. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, and they look, so they looked to man you know, at the time, David Cameron, they were looking to him yeah. as a God. Yeah. For, yeah. for that, uh, they want, because they want instant, you know, instant gratification. But really, the, the the time to seek God is before these things happen, because yeah. that's when we, that's the kind of that's the kind of God um, that we're serving. He wants us to serve Him in times of, uh, as they say, in Matt, before you're going to take your marriage vows yeah. through thick and through thin. Yeah. So that's the kind of God that um, we serve, and that's the kind of people He wants people who are, have that mentality to serve Him through thick and through thin, and that's the type of person that He will save when yeah. tragedy does happen. Let me read the precept for that. It's uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. It says, Remember now the Creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them, man. So you got to remember the Heavenly Father, man, now before the evil days come. All right? Uh, let's go back to topic anyway. Come on. So it was, um, it was uh, Second Thessalonians chapter 5. It says, yeah, for but ye, brethren, are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief, yeah, man. So, you know, because we've been watching, you know, the heavenly fathers have revealed, uh, that he has, has revealed uh, the secrets to us through our teachers, all right. And now uh, we consider we consider ourselves blessed, man, just the very fact that we we we, uh, we know what we know, man, all right. Uh, Yeah, you right. can, I can read. To, I'll, I'll read that five. Right, it's a good one. Okay, Ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. Children of the day, we are not of the night nor of darkness. Come, man, we're, we're the children of day. Okay, the rest, the rest, the rest of the two phases men are in darkness right now, man. Okay, now uh, let's uh, get our version twelve and twelve, Bob Kasha. Revelation chapter twelve. Yeah, 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 I got, I got it, I got it. Out. Still, still yeah. getting used to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Chapter 12. 12, and twelve. Twelve. Yeah. Cause uh, on this planet now, you see, we're coming up to a time where all hell is gonna break loose, man. Cause Esau, Esau, Esau has been has been prepared, has been preparing, has been prepared, has been preparing for the things that are coming on the earth, man. Cause this, the elites of this society, man, they, they've they have bigger plans than your plans, man. Okay, they're not thinking about what you're gonna do, uh, what you're gonna do when you graduate, or nah, or what you're gonna do for your children. Putting up, they don't care about all that, man. They've got other agendas, and uh, you know, a part of that agenda, man, is to destroy a whole lot of you Israelites, man. Okay, to destroy a whole lot of the population on the planet Earth. All right, and they have a, they have a short time to do that to uh, to fulfill the plan because the Heavenly Father has given them a limited time only, man. Go ahead. 
Uh, Revelation chapter 12, chapter 12, verse 12 says, Wherefore rejoice ye in heavens, and ye that dwell in the earth. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he's that he have a but a short time. Yeah, because the enlistment they, they they can see the increase the increased number of the prophets on the highways and the bowers, man. They can see the, the they can compare the, the things that are going on around the world uh, through the scriptures and through what the prophets are saying, and they understand now. They knew they understand now that okay, their time their Hawasha is coming back and their time is almost over, man. All right, a lot of the elites, man, they're getting old, like that guy who had like seven hundred transplants. What's his name again, man? Uh, uh, David Rothschild. No, it's not, it's uh, Rockefeller, maybe. It's not Rothschild. I know, I know it's David. It's not, was, was it, I know it was David something, yeah, wasn't it? I think it was Rick Rockefeller. Was it Rockefeller? I thought it was David Rothschild. It wasn't the one with the one that died, he was yeah, about 99 yeah, yeah, was, something. I know, definitely, or in his hundreds or something. All, All right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, but yeah, man, they're getting old, man. They've been they've been doing this. They've been here, man. For imagine for a hundred years, man. You've been you've been you've been you've been uh you've been pushing for that new world order, man. So then the time is now you're about to die. You wanna see because you know because because they, they understand reincarnation, so they understand that if they die now, they're not gonna see the fruits of all their labor. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? A Ferrari ain't good enough for these devils, man. Okay, they have so they have, that's how rich they are, man. They can buy you can buy they can buy themselves like a, a Ferrari making factory. That's not good for enough for them, man. Okay, they want they want the entire planet Earth and even more. Okay, and but they know the time is coming to an end. We wish they have to do this, man. I get Daniel's twelve and one, Bob Kasha. All right, we but which which their plans now mean mean trouble for you Israelites out there. Okay, for you Israelites in America, for you Israelites in the UK. Okay, and uh, for the rest of for the rest of the planet Earth. All right. Especially seeing that we're so close for how shall to make a second return, man. Okay, go ahead. Daniel chapter 12 verse 1 says, At that time shall Michael stand up the great prince which strengthens, which, which uh, so lucky, prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. At that time, thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. And the people, and the people that Michael stands up for, man, is the Israelites, man. Okay, mm -hmm. the elect of Israel, because they are the ones, they are the ones that are gonna be, so like, yeah. they are the ones that are gonna be delivered from this time period, man. Okay, from the things that are coming. The rest of you, the rest of you Israelites, man, you two the Jake's just gonna have to come back uh, in the reincarnation. Okay, but the scripture says that there shall be a time such as never such as never have been since the since the earth has been man and just looking at history you can just imagine all the things that have gone on through the, on the planet earth okay you can just imagine and the scripture said this time that's coming it's going to be worse than all of them all right i get jeremiah uh 30. uh sub on four good question so you can just imagine the scriptures like the, the lord's gonna have to send up he's gonna have to send his angels literally to protect the elect from the things that are coming and that's how bad the situation is gonna be all right mm -hmm. Uh, 30 Bob Kasha, not 13. Uh, Jeremiah 30. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh. Right there. Right there. There you go. Jeremiah 30, verses 13. Uh, 30 and 4. 4. Start from 4, read up to 7. Jeremiah 13, verse 4 says. Okay, and these are the words that the Lord speak concerning Israel and concerning Judah. Yeah, go ahead. For thus saith the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Yeah, man. So, so you, you can, so that's for you, Israel, out there, man. You know, you're gonna be, you're gonna relax in society, man. Scripture said there's a thing. I've heard a what? And these of the uh, for the. Five, yeah, yeah. We have For heard. thus saith the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling. What is trembling, man? Trembling is fear, man. When you're fear, when you start shaking, man. Okay, go ahead. Of fear, uh -huh. and not of peace. So there's not going to be peace just yet on the planet Earth, man, until all this, all, all this trouble comes to pass first. Okay, go ahead. Six says, "Ask ye now and see whether a a man doth travel with child." And the answer is no. The men, men don't travel because a man doesn't get pregnant. Okay, go ahead. 
Wherefore do I see every man with his hands in his loins? So the, the heavenly father is asking me, why does he see every man with his man with his hands on his loins? Man, as if they are pregnant. Okay, go ahead. As a woman in travail, uh -huh. and all faces are turned unto paleness. Mm, go ahead. Seven. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is, it, like it is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Yeah, and you, you, you know, you, you'll be saved out of it if you're part of the part of this number that's gonna be saved out of this uh, situation that's coming, man. Okay, because a lot, a lot of you guys are gonna are gonna die, man. Okay, we're doing we're doing what we're doing in the hopes that we are part of those that get saved, man. Okay, so we, you know, we, you know, this so this thing that we're doing, we're not doing it in vain. Okay, we're doing it in in the hope to get mercy. Okay, I'm not saying, you know, I, I, we're not saying we're guaranteed that we're gonna be part of the, the people that are gonna save, but we hope we are hopeful members of the elect. Okay, we hope. Okay, we are hopeful people, man. All right. Yeah. So like, can I just add a little point on that? Right. Yeah, because we, this is a training work, isn't it? That we're in the time of training now, preparing us for what is to come. This work. Is building up, building up our faith, mm -hmm. and so um, so um, we're stronger in that day when that day does come. So, um, ho uh, that, that hope is giving us that um, encouragement uh, to strengthen us for, what, for, about, so. for what is about to come. So this is a this training work is is actually a good work. Yeah. Uh. Because it's the same. It's similar with um, physical training. You know, you might get. I think they call it when your muscles start aching. They call it growing pains, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and it, you're actually putting trauma on the on your muscles. You're breaking, you're, you're you're breaking the muscles or stretching the muscles, and it's and it's actually trauma on the muscles. But it's a healthy trauma for that when it uh, so that it breaks it and then it starts to uh, mend itself when it starts to grow. Mm -hmm. So it's it's the same thing with um this training. It's a it's a physical training. Sometimes it's, it's tiring. But um, you might be traumatizing your body for what is about to come, so that when the actual trauma comes, yeah. you're stronger in able uh, being able how to deal with it. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, the Lord says what, man? We, we know. Because us for for the elect, man, we, the elect are going through their sufferings in order to be made perfect. All right. The rest of you, you know, the rest of you Israelites, man, that are, are not as as suffering, but not not for the word sake, man. It's, you're suffering in vain, man. Okay, for the elect you suffering in order to be made perfect, man. Because we've, you know, we, we, uh, we've taken up the the mind of Yahweh Shine, because he suffered in order to be made perfect himself. All right, I'll get that up, Kasha, from uh, eighteen, from eighteen. Yeah. Amos chapter five verse eighteen says, okay. "Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord! To what end is it for you? For you." The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. The people in the churches, man, you know, they, they speak about, they, they sing all these songs about the day of the Lord, the coming of the Yahweh Shai, and so on and so forth, man. But they have no understanding of what it consists of, man. Okay, scripture says that that day is the day of darkness and not light. Because when Yahweh Shai cracks them, scout, them clouds, man, even he is going to start killing people, man. Okay, the scripture says, uh, Isaiah 66, says, the slain of the Lord will be many. All right, mm. uh, go ahead, 19. Now it says, as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him, or or went unto a house and learned his hand, so lucky I lived. unto his house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. Okay, uh, so basically what he's saying is, uh, you know, it's gonna be one thing after the other, man. If you escape something else now, you're gonna run into something else again, man. If you watch that movie Bushwick, man, that's a very good movie because. Uh, from the time all the trouble started, they kept on running into danger, you know, every corner they turned, man. They're scared for one thing, they run into something else. They're scared for another thing, they run into something else, man, okay? Because trouble, until the, until at the end, have you seen Bushwick? No, I haven't seen it. Until at the end, man, they, they wind up all dying. <laughs> so it was one trouble right after that. There was not, literally, there was no space to sleep. Mm. Okay, that's the time. That's how, it's how bad the situation is going to be, man. You know, if you... If you get a little two, one hour sleep, man, you'll be lucky, man, okay? As soon as you sleep, man, there'll be somebody, someone there ready to kill you, man, okay? You women out there, man, that's why the pride that you have now, man, mm -hmm. when that time comes, man, hey, anyway, get uh, uh Can I just add a little bit on that point yeah. you just made? Because uh, in mo a lot of um, Esau's movies, he's the winner. He's the, he he, yeah, he, he yeah, wants yeah. to be victorious. Yeah. But this is, this is one of these 
battles that you ain't gonna it's not gonna be a happy ending it's not gonna be you're not gonna ride off into the sunset Can't it's not gonna be a happy ending where you get the victory you yeah, always yeah. you've always been getting the w's but this is the time when it, it mentions here uh, as a man did flee from a lion a bear met him yeah so you thought you got away and then you and then you went into a house yeah. you lent uh, you lent you lent your hand upon the wall and a serpent rest. bit him to rest yeah you think now okay i've, I've escaped them relaxing and then boom something else right there so you ain't gonna you ain't gonna win this in your movies you win because it's all fantasy so you have to tell yourself yeah you, you know you, that's the only way you can win but when it comes to your whole shy he's got your number he's had your number from the beginning and he's been letting you get them w's to build up your pride yeah you've been used to getting them w's but this is the this is the time when you get a big big smack in your face big s God bless you for, you for, that. for loss it's like obadiah but, one it's like a, uh, no, really, no, really. Uh, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, they just to back you up. This is like Obadiah one in the team. It says, and the house of Jacob shall shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble. Then they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for Yahweh has spoken it, man. Mm. Yeah, man. So this, in, you know, in the movies, Esau always wins, man. But in real life, man, Esau ain't gonna win but, this time, man. Okay. So it's so for 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 us who's been getting at all these S's, these 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 uh, L's we've been getting, it's yeah. gonna be a, for the hopeful elect. That's when we get our we start to get our W's. We're getting our W's now, a little bit slowly, slowly. But the the main W is gonna come when we we start to um when he says that we're gonna he's gonna deliver us. But yeah, it's so like, yeah. I, I guess second Ezra uh, fifteen. Say that again. Second Ezra fifteen. Second Ezra. Uh, yeah, if you do that, it, may, it makes me not. Second Ezra fifteen. Yeah, I don't want to. Uh, hold on. Yeah, Second Ezra yeah. fifteen chapter. Start from uh, uh, matter of fact, start from uh, start from one first. Second Ezra chapter fifteen verse one reads, "Behold." Speak thou on the ears of the, my people, and the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. Yeah, because uh, the Lord's been putting this, uh, these words of prophecy in our mouth for our teachers, man. Okay, we've been eating this raw, and now we are, we are out here now to give you the prophecies, man, to teach you now. All right, uh, uh, jump down to our... Uh, um, what I got there? I right, jumped up to the fifth verse. Chapter 5 says, uh, Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 5 says, Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, a sword, famine, death, and destruction. Yeah, man. So, you know, this time is when the, the times are coming, man. It's the times, that's the times of Jacob's trouble, man, when the Lord's going to bring uh, uh, death, famine, and destruction, man. Yeah. Because famine is our. Uh, Famine when they cut off all the supplies to the two, because right now, man, not, you know, Jack doesn't really grow their own food, man. Okay, mm. you've lost the ability uh, to produce for your own selves. You rely on the system to provide for you, man. You go and do your hours. You go and do your hours at your workplace, and then uh, you jump at uh, you jump in the local shop and get whatever supplies that you need. Okay, so now for Esau to get you this time, and all he has to do is just cut off supplies to them to them shops, man. Whatever is left in those shops, man, you you Jack, you run in there, uh, you loot. You look the shops empty, okay. You steal a TV that you can't even watch, okay. And then afterwards, now after that, then what happens now, man? Okay, that's what that's that's what that's what that's how your family is gonna come in place, man. Okay, go ahead, do that again, Bob Kasha. Yeah, behold, at uh, uh, chapter five, uh, second uh, Ezra, chapter fifteen, verse five, say, behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death. And destruction. Yeah, the sword is gonna come in the in the in the, in the form of uh, of uh, martial law. Okay, the police shooting you guys down. Martial law. Those troops when they hit your streets, because in order to uh, in order in that type of chaos, in order to keep order, man, they're gonna definitely need the troops on the streets, man. Okay, so they're gonna have all kinds of troops. Uh, they're gonna have that. Uh, sub, uh, remember the Apostle Ramla did the lesson on the summer of execution, man. Okay, where they look at you and then whatever whatever situation they the whatever situation you're in. They, they will decide whether to keep you alive or, or put you to death on the spot, man. 
okay that's summary execution man the soldiers are gonna make that decision to put your ass to death or not man you might have your video camera and record man so what man you move over a little bit out it's better now. It's okay. A bit more straight, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. You know, you, you know, you might this time you can have your little recording and post that post that on Facebook, and you know the, that police officer might get persecuted. But in the terms of martial martial law, all that is out the window, man. All right, he, he will put you to death just for having a phone, and there's nothing there's nothing you can do about it, man. Okay, you can't sue nobody. Okay, you're just gonna be grabbed up and put in uh, concentration camps. All right. Uh, go ahead, Doc. Are we done? Yeah, uh, I was at five, yeah? That was five, yeah. Five, six says, For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Yeah, man, you've, you know, you've done so much wickedness up, up, up on the planet Earth, man. Okay, everybody's follow, followed in the ways of the wicked, man. You followed Esau in uh, all his agendas man okay because Esau, Esau, has, Esau has set himself up against the heavenly father okay he's the man that's he wants to he's the man that's challenged uh, the heavenly father to a duo man okay and uh, all you Israelites out there man you're, you're supposed to be a godly people man okay a spiritual people but you followed all this wickedness man all this homosexuality all right uh putting women up on the pedestal the, especially the women you've come up against your men all right, when the order of how you're supposed to be is in the scriptures, okay, and then the number one is the one I say, Oh, Jesus loves me, and the Bible, this, <laughs> all right. But yeah, when we show you in the scriptures, man, what the, what the scriptures say, you know, you back up against it, man. All right, uh, go ahead, do that. Seven. Yeah, yeah, uh, seven. I just want to say on that point, there, uh, as, as of someone who is in the Christian church, uh, this is Ezra chapter 15. Uh, second Ezra chapter fifteen. They would never read that in the in the church. No, never. Because because God is supposed to be all love. Yeah. So when it says I will bring plagues upon the world, sword, famine, death, and destruction, these these there's no way there's no love. You can find no love in that scripture, yeah. and it shows that uh, what kind of a uh, God that we truly serve is the God of justice. Yeah. I, I go on to seven. Yeah. yeah. It says seven says wherefore saith the Lord, eight, I will bring hold my tongue no more. As touching the wickedness which thou profanely commit, neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent, righteous, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. Yeah, man, uh, the innocent and righteous blood Ooh. is is, uh, is the prophet, man. So the heavenly Father is telling you there, so he's not going to hold himself back anymore, man. Because the scriptures say what the Lord is long suffering. Okay. Um, uh, what's that? Uh, Romans, uh, Romans, Romans, uh, the ninth chapter. Okay, the scripture says the Lord is long suffering. He, 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 he held himself back for a season, but now he says he's just gonna everything is gonna you know he's not gonna hold himself back anymore. Mm. Okay, he says uh, the innocent blood cry unto the heavenly Father. Uh, the souls of the just com com complain continually. Uh, uh, what's that man? Uh, uh, Ezekiel nine and four. All right, because you know the, the, it, we are sighing and crying every day, man. Okay, we, 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 you know when we wake up, man, we're, we're reading the scriptures and we're praying to the heavenly Father to do something about what's going on in the world. But even in the spirit, man, even in the spirit, man, you can't help yourself. But you know, by sighing and crying, man. Yeah, yeah. You'll yeah. be walking on the streets, man. You're looking at everything that's going on, man. You're just shaking your head all the time, man. Mm. Okay, men being dressed up as women. All right, women dressing up as men. Okay, so much, so much. You look up in the eye, in the sky, man. You see. Uh, planes uh, spraying chemtrails, okay. Uh, mm. Disobedient children, children, little kids been looking at you and disrespecting you all the time. Mm. All right. And uh, Eli uh, is it Elisha or Elijah, man? That uh, cast out these little kids. yeah Elijah with the the, the 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 children, the little yeah. Um, children, yeah, yeah. yeah. He put Call a it barley, didn't yeah. It? yeah. He, he put a curse on them in the name of the heavenly Father, man. And then the name of the heavenly Father answered him, man, and sent right. him there to go, you know, to go dis to, to kill all them little shits, right, man. Right, right, right. All right. And that's the kind of thing that you see today, man, in this time period, man. Okay, uh, in Ireland, they just uh, they just legalized abortions. Abortions, you literally, that's the seed is already the, the, the child is already. Is mm. already it's like, if you look up, if you go on Google and you look at abortion pictures, that's literally a child who just hasn't fully developed yet, man. And then when the way they abort them, they literally yank that child out, man. Okay, they literally cut him to pieces and put that child out, man. That's murder, man. Mm. Okay, but uh, what what? All that number eight you just said. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, get. Uh, okay. Keep reading. 
Yeah, that point you made about um, Elijah, they, they, they called him Barlid and a beer came out and tore him to shreds. Yeah. You see, that, that is, that is a, it shows you the power of prayer yeah. and how the Most High is aware of everything that's going on. Yeah. So I feel through the Spirit, and I know brothers will bear witness too, when we, when we pray, we pray it may, we may get answered directly sometimes. I, I believe through the Spirit I get answered directly sometimes. Because yeah. when I watch the news, when I see judgment, that's, that's my prayer being answered. Yeah, when yeah, I see judgment yeah, yeah. and them wicked people, them killing themselves in school shootings, that's all judgment. People, that, people are not aware of it, but it's the most high in action. He's sending his angels with the, with the spirits of um, uh, the, the spirits of vengeance. Yeah, and that's to me, that's most high showing me that he's answered my prayer. I know what I pray for, you know what I mean? Yeah. And that's the, the most I showing me. Yeah, I'm aware. Uh, I, 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 let me do this. Let me do this. I can do this today. Next, tomorrow I'll do this because it says that he's angry with the wicked every day. Yeah. So no, to, to carry on. Like I get a pussy from you. Just said this as Zephaniah three and five. It says, uh, "The just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning doth he bring forth judgment to light. He faileth not, but the unjust knoweth no shame." Boom! Most <laughs> <laughs> is terrible. Yeah, carry yeah. on out. Uh, okay, continue with none. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I like that point there. Uh, if you don't mind, I'll, I'll go back to you and um, read it again. Verses yeah. 8, yeah, it says, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness which thou have profanely committed, neither will I suffer them in those days, in those things, yeah. in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and the righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. Yeah, because uh, what do you think of prophets in the highways and the byways in your face, maintaining you your iniquity event? Okay, because the Lord is not always, you know, he says, well, I'll hold my tongue no more. Who are the Lord's tongue? The prophets, man. Okay, what do you think they're right there in your face, man, with the, with the, with the scriptures, man, telling you where you're going off, man? Okay. Yeah, nine, nine, nine is a nice one too. He said, "And therefore saith the Lord, I will surely avenge them, and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them." Can man, all the prophets that in the past that have been killed, man, for uh, for, for telling you all the wickedness that you've done. Okay, because the scriptures uh, call you Israelites, man, what serpents, man, vipers and serpents. Okay. Ten. Right. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will know. I will not suffer them, nor... So like a jump down to uh, verse 13. Right, 13 says, They that till the ground shall mourn, for their seeds shall fail. Like a, uh, 14, so like a. 14. Woe unto the world and them that dwell therein. Okay, go ahead. For the sword and the destruction draweth near. Because the word war, it means uh, destruction, man. Okay, go ahead. And one people shall stand up and fight against another and the sword in their hands. Yeah, man, because you, you know, you're talking about race, race wars, okay, uh, world war, world war three, okay, different kind of scenarios that are going to happen which everybody's going to turn against it, uh, against each other, man. Okay, scriptures, they have, like, Yahweh Shai said, he, he, like, he, he, I come not to bring peace on the earth, but a sword, man. All right. Uh, go ahead. 15. For the sword and the destruction draweth near, and one people that shall stand up and fight against another, and the sword in their hands. 16. For there shall be sedition among men, and invading, uh, invading one another. They shall not regard their things nor princes. Lucky. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. And the cause of their actions shall stand in their power. Yeah, man. So now all the cause, all the other all people that are in leadership position, all the cause for peace and so on and so forth, man. That's all gonna be out the window, man. Okay, because it's gonna be every man now. Every man are gonna do what they think is gonna be right for their for their own people, man. That's why people say racism is in, is 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 within you yourself, man. All right. It's natural that people people that are like uh, stand together. To protect their own selves, man. Okay, you're not gonna have a, a Hindu guy and a so-called white man and a black man all united together to fight something else, man. Everybody's gonna, ask. matter of fact. Mm. Uh, let me get a precept real quick. All right. Because mm. everybody is gonna, everybody's gonna stick to their own, pretty much, man. 
It's uh, Isaiah 13 and 14. It says, And it shall be as a chest row, and as a ship that no man taketh up. They they shall every man tend to his own people, and flee every one his own land, man. Okay? So everyone's going to tend to their own people, man. All right? Uh, go back to that question. Yeah, that was, um, that was 16, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, it looks so. Uh, uh, seven yeah. uh, a man shall desire to go unto a city and shall not be able. Yeah, man, because all you see is the cities. If you watch that movie, uh, the zombie movie, man, I believe it's uh, uh, 21 days. Because I know there's two parts, man. There's 20, uh, 21 days or 21 days after. And uh, what they did is they cut off the cities, man. Those same certain cities you, you couldn't go to. And if the, if the soldiers see you turn across over to the other city, you get shot. Uh, that movie, uh, what's it called, man? Uh, the one who was me, I am legend. Okay. Because remember, they even, to the point, they even blew up the bridge and no one could cross over from one city to the other city, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then the people that remain in those cities, man, when the, when the supply finishes, what happens, man? Okay. They start killing each other, man. Okay. Go ahead. 18. For because their pride, the city shall be troubled and the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. Yeah, man. So, because you people are, very, the people to them, and they are very, are very proud people, man. You see that every day when you're walking, man. Okay. You know what I'm saying? The very fact that you even make the laws that you make right now, man, is because of pride, man. Okay. You think now, you think the, the planet F is in, you know, is, uh, is going to go on the course that you've decided for it to go on, man. But you don't know that the Heavenly Father has got you on the, in the trip bag. Okay. Mm. Uh, go ahead, Doc. Set 19. A man shall have no...